Then for number two, we're going to integrate this fraction. So before we start to integrate, I try to find for the formula. So if the denominator function is x squared, so I try to expand here, negative 3x plus x, so negative 2x minus 3. So when I differentiate, we will get 2x minus 2. So obviously, we can't see the pattern of integrate f prime x over fx means this integration on this fraction, it can be solved using formula. Then only we seek for the technique of integration. When we have a fraction, then the technique of integration is using partial fraction. So we try to split up this fraction into partial. So split according to the factor. So this denominator already well factorized. As our denominator has linear factor up here will be constant. Then we get same to the denominator to find out the a. So a need to time with x minus 3 and b need to time with x plus 1. So we have two unknown here. We need to let two times less x equals to 3 and negative 1. So we try to find the roots of this factor to eliminate a and to eliminate b so that we can find a, b in directly. So substitute x3. It gives you 13. So when you substitute here, 0 for b. So b is 13 over 4. When we substitute negative 1, negative 3. So when you substitute here, negative 4a. And substitute negative 1, so it becomes 0. a will be 3 over 4. So therefore, we write our partial fraction first before we start in the grade. A, which is 3, denominator, we together with the x plus 1. Meanwhile, B is 13, denominator 4, also together with the denominator x minus 3. Then only we start to figure out to integrate this partial fraction. Then, to integrate this, so obviously, we can see here, we can factorize out 1 over 4. Or I can factorize out 1 by 1, 3 over 4, integrate 1 over x plus 1 dx plus 13 over 4, integrate 1 over x minus 3 dx. So look at the function. If we have fx and f prime x, so we can definitely learn to the function. So double check here. Denominator x plus 1. Differentiate it, you get 1. So denominator is x minus 3. When we differentiate it, it also get 1. So this is fx up here, f prime x. This is fx up here, f prime x. So therefore, we can learn to the function. And don't forget plus c. So if you want to try to simplify, also can. So we will factorize out 1 over 4. Then this one will be ln x plus 1 power of 3 plus ln x minus 3 power of 13. So why power of 13? Because the coefficient 13 here up, pull up using properties of log, it will become power. So 3 here will pull up, will become power plus c and ln plus ln, we can simplify it become multiple. Let's see. So what is important here, the first one is 
finding our partial fraction a and b so that we can get the partial fraction correctly then only we start integration so integrate the partial fraction given your answer and everything correct actually we can accept both in here or here so totally fine marks